Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Connor Joe. He leads the team and wins above replacement, so most days you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. About to get started here, our starter in this one, Jared Jones. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Nolan Shanowell in the box now. No balls and a strike. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. It's softly on the ground to third. Sends it to That's first. Out. One out in the top of the first. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Now batting A. Ray Adrianza. Just no, off the bad. outside edge. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. One down, base is empty. And that one sliced foul. One one is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Next offering upstairs. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Two two now. Popped up. Sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Batting third. The left fielder, number three. Taylor Ward. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. That one, one not ball, close. Three. Now one and two. Chopped left side. Cruz. Angels retired. One, two, three. Angels held in check. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at PNC Park, and today's starting pitcher, Reed Detmers. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. 
Andrew McCutcheon stands in now and watches strike one. The wind and the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. And now one and two. One, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. That one Two almost two. got him. <laughs> Foul tip into the mitt struck him out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. That's As an ball. outfielder, Outside. you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That one oh. missed. Two balls, no strike. Inside, nope. just missed. Oh. And there's the automatic. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. That one fouled off. And now the lefty. He goes down looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Good eye right there. Next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. Two out spaces empty. This to center field. Moniak under it and the inning is over scoreless after one back here in Pittsburgh now it's the DH Willie Calhoun Willie Calhoun The wind of the pitch. That catches the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, 
you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Olivares makes the play, and there's one away. Brandon, Brandon Drury to the play. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Drifts towards it. Out number two. That is good. The catch number 14. Logan, Logan O'Hoppy, the next oh, to hit for the Angels. In the air out to center. Taylor moving under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second at the plate for Pittsburgh. Connor Joe. The first baseman. Connor Joe. As the lefty gets to work. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Time to check in our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And takes ball. low for ball one. One and two. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Edward Olivares, batting with one down, takes a strike. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next one is off the play. Two balls and a strike. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Yes, Monty Grandal in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. That's outside. outside. That's Two and oh. Pulls that one foul. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Two, two, strike. two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a ball popped up. Neto under this one. 
drops into the glove. And that is the third out of the inning. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top go of the, the third game. scoreless game. The and now seven. here is Joe oh. Adele. Adele. The pitch. And that one in the air center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. The one away. The center field, number 15, Mickey Moniak. And now, Mickey Moniak. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. This one chopped to first. Joe takes it himself. Just got him on that one. And next for the Angels, Zach Neto. Jones, 22 years old, and he was a second-round pick in 2020. There's a swing and a drive, and that is gone. And that gives him a lead. It's one nothing. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Shanowell stands ball. in here, leaves that one off the inside. Well, on the mound, this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Yeehaw. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Out towards left center and makes the grab. And that is that. Halos strike first with the solo shot. It's now one nothing. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, number 19. Detmers back to work. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. And he takes one right on the black, and it's 0-2. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. looking that's a strikeout well just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and I don't think he was taking it thinking it might be a called ball or anything I just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion here's O'Neill Cruz little chopper rolls foul One down, base is empty. In the air, left field. Under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Batting none. The center fielder. Now, here Michael. is Michael A. Taylor. Just missed. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the last half of the third. Fouled off. He was late.
and a pitch. And yeah. now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Big time GM right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. The lefty fires. Pitch in the dirt, and it's two and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He's got it. And that ends the inning. here at PNC Park as we go to the top of the fourth. So in now for the Angels, A. Ray Adrianza. Jones back to work. Bounce to the right side. What a stop. Over to first. On the money. Nice play. The left fielder, number three, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1 so far. And no, ball that missed. One. That's the ball. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. And That's another ball. ball. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Two up, two down. Up next for the Angels, the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun stands in here. He's 0 for 1. That yeah. pitch gets the inside corner. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. That yeah. clips the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Angels go quietly there, but they lead it one to nothing. And we're back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Andrew McCutcheon. And he deals. That one off the mark. And that is ball one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And that one is lifted in the air. Ward sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. Brian Reynolds here. Caught looking his first time up. One's in there on one. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Holding on to a one run lead. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That one misses, and the count is one and one. And a good eye there. 
That's to third. Oh, great stop. The throw. And that's a great play for the out. A quick move to his left. Fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it. Then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Now batting key Brian Hayes. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. That one is upstairs. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And that one almost hit him. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Bohapi collects, fires to first, and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. New inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury. The pitch. That oh, yeah. one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Slice down the right side. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. And they add a run. It's 2 nothing. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. And next for L.A., Logan Ohapi. Makes the catch one down. Pittsburgh doesn't often get enough praise as a baseball town. But you think of all the greats who have been pirates, like Hannes Wagner, Willie Stargell, Roberto Clemente. It's pretty amazing. Here's Joe Adele. And talking about that Pittsburgh history, Boog, don't forget the great Negro leaguers of the Pittsburgh Crawfords and Homestead Grays. Satchel Paige, Josh Gibson, Cool Papa Bell, Oscar Charleston, Buck Leonard. The list just goes on and on. Going to now. Stays alive. I think one of the other things about coming here, they do such a good job of honoring their baseball history. The warehouse out in right field, the statues, really just the entire ballpark yeah. reeks of history. Makes you feel like you're in the middle of a museum while you're watching a game. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Just missed. 
and you know you're going to play. I mean, in, in Florida, rain is a serious issue during the summer, and you know that you are going to play 81 home games. Right-hander kicks deals. If you live in a city or you're playing a game in a city where it's open air and there's bad weather, all of a sudden, in your mind, you start to wonder, are we going to play it tonight or not? And the discipline is to stay focused and make sure you prepare yourself in the event that you do play the game because if you're not ready and the game is being played, you can get beat and you can get embarrassed that night. One run across in the frame so far, and we're at the top of the fifth. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. But the Angels add to the lead on this solo blast. And it's two zip. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Pittsburgh. Here and now the first the baseman, Pirates. Connor Joe. The first baseman, Connor Joe. And the pitch. Look at Derek no, Jeter. Miss, He's a classic example of someone that wasn't looking to pull the wow. ball, but he could hit some home runs to right field, so was able to flex the muscles at times. But a lot of his 3,000 plus base hits were hit the opposite way in both the old ballpark and here in the newer Yankee Stadium. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Shadowell makes the grab, and there's one away. A couple of pitches and a quick out. The right field. Edward Olivares, the next to hit, went down on strikes his first time through. Foul ball there. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. He has a tendency to chase out of the okay. zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Wouldn't Ball, chase that it. time. through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Grandal. The next down. to hit takes low for a ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Yeah. Swing and a miss. One and one. Edge of the zone for a strike. One and two. With the tying run at the plate. And yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. At the belt and fires. Two and two. In the dirt, but kept close. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. at the bender for the strikeout. Man, that looked like a pretty good swing, and I was waiting for him to get hammered somewhere. I mean, breaking ball, but he just somehow missed it. Timing looked solid, and his balance was there. He wasn't out on the front foot. Great pitch to hit, but just came up with nothing but air. So, tell you what, that's not a good feeling at all. Stepping in, number 19. Out towards right center field. Adele moves under it. 
He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels get a shutout on the mound. Well, it was a tough day at the plate for the hitters. Only able to scratch out a couple of hits, but some really good pitching, some good defense. You don't expect to win the game when you only put up two hits, but somehow they found a way to get it done. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.